So before we get there, I know that Ron um, introduced me briefly, but I want to say a little bit more about what I do, and some of it might be repetitive. Um, I'm a peak performance and leadership coach, and I mainly assist leaders in enhancing their leadership prowess and maximizing performance so that they can reach their peak potential. I help clients with a range of issues. Um, these issues include managing up, demonstrating visibility in the workplace authentically. They, Some of my clients are interested in starting businesses. They're in the corporate sphere and they want to start businesses. They're looking to transition their careers later on in life, um, which can be daunting, exciting, but daunting. Um, and some of my clients are struggling with just influence. How do they get the buy-in that they need to make some really big changes to their organization? And sometimes the changes aren't even that big. Sometimes they're smaller, but they're struggling to get that buy-in. So those are the sort of the range of issues that I work with with clients. Um, I'm a graduate of the Institute of Professional Excellence and Coaching, which is otherwise known as IPEC. I'm specialized in what is known as the core dynamics leadership framework. This unique framework combines the best of performance coaching, i.e. what athletes use to sustain their performance in a consistent basis and leadership coaching. So it brings performance coaching and the best of leadership coaching together. So what is core leadership dynamics? Core exemplifies the heart or most essential central part. E is the energy that guides and fuels us. And dynamics is the interplay of internal and external forces on your system, potential, and your ultimate performance. So core leadership dynamics takes a look at all of these factors and pulls them together. And this will make a little bit more sense as I go through uh, the presentation. So let's define leadership in the context of today's conversation. It's a contested term for sure, but I believe and I know that many coaches out there and even many leaders out there in organizations and elsewhere believe that we are all leaders. When the word leadership sort of comes up, it's natural to think of people in positions of power, presidents and prime ministers, CEOs and board members, i.e. the board members of the 40 plus organization. But this definition of leadership applies to every interaction with every person in our life, at work or at home. We are all leaders because we are always directing activity in some way. Our energy determines what kind of leader we are. We may be leading positively, moving things forward, or we may lead negatively with little to no movement forward. You can be searching for a job leading an effort to gain recognition at work, or leading the development of ideas for your post-retirement profession. These are all examples of you leading your work plan, leading your activities, leading your energy to reach a goal. And of course, your performance as a leader is how effectively you're doing those things. And that's what we will be taking a look at today 